Hi Helen, thank you firstly for sitting down with me today, it's great to have you mm -hmm. here. Um, so I guess the first question is, and it is quite a big one, um, do you think it's possible for industries such as FMCG where you work or the fast fashion industries, do you think it's possible for them to become truly sustainable in the future? If I didn't believe that, then there's not much point really in making small steps, but what I do believe is that every single attempt we make, every single initiative that we do, every tiny story that we tell about sustainability is adding to something. Nothing happens overnight. What we have to have is an attitude of recognising this change and if we all do something we will pull together. What I am not a huge fan of is highlighting when people get it massively wrong mm -hmm. because I think it creates a climate of not fear but almost blame mongery where people don't want to try yeah. And if you're a smaller brand and you don't know what to do or you don't know about sustainability, or in a lot of cases you think you don't know but you do, then you're not going to try. It's about empowering people through events like this, through the work of the CIM, through CIM education, but also through the code, you know, the code of, co um, not code of conduct, sorry, the, the, um, the green code, mm -hmm. to seek advice from the right places, mm -hmm. take chances, but make an effort I always say to my children try your best yeah and on a very basic level that's what we're expecting of brands in FMCG yeah. with that said we absolutely yeah. need to do better mm -hmm. we absolutely need to step up but we can only do that if we mobilize every shopper that comes into those stores every consumer that consumes that product we tell them what impact that has we give them the tools to make decisions themselves mm -hmm. and that tiny story adds up and adds up and adds up and gains momentum but by making it mysterious and complicated we're not going to get any crossover or cut through within FMCG because there are too many messages already. Yeah I mean every small win is still a win at the end of the day. Exactly. It should be celebrated. Yeah I agree. Um, so I guess when you founded Collective Stories, your company, was sustainability always at the heart of your, you know, the value that where you wanted to be in Collective Stories, was it always there? Absolutely, so Collective Stories is founded on lots of tiny stories, so we work with our clients to bring together stories like sustainability, consumer stories, stories of macro insight, stories of trends, what's happening in our categories. Within FMCG we've got so many categories, we've got food, we've got health and beauty, we've got dental, we've got deodorants, and within those there are so many different and tiny stories and it's recognising that, I think, Sustainability, I've been doing this for many, many years now. When I first started out, sustainability was, if you imagine a PowerPoint deck, it was always at the back. And it was always like a tick box. We had to have it, we had to do it. And then the retailers mobilised and actually that sustainability information came further into the deck. And now actually I would say it's at the start of the story. You can't have a seat at the table if you are not responsible on this topic. Yeah. Um, but again, as I say, a lot of SMEs just need help and need the story breaking down or the right way to tell the story and remove that fear from the story mm -hmm. is, what, is what we do. Absolutely. So would you say, would, what role would you say storytelling has in the sustainable marketing journey? Is storytelling the key to transparency and driving action? Absolutely. And I think it's storytelling. I spoke earlier about the key storytelling concept of the hero's journey. So. To be impactful with a story, you have to take the audience on the journey with you. You have to make them the hero of the story and say, we're going to do this together. And, and to my previous point, when I talked about empowering them through information, but speaking to them in the right way, the right tone of voice, and speaking to them where they are, that's the only way we will do it. We have to take them with us. It's not about telling somebody a story and expecting them to listen. That's not, it's not a linear journey. It's a journey where we scoop up that consumer, we make them care because at the end of the day, we can't make anybody do anything. Stories are not magic. They're not a silver bullet. It's about empowering people and taking them with us on the journey. Yeah, um. absolutely. Well, thank you very much.